There are a lot of people nowadays who want to be data engineers and they might be applying to the same positions as you. And it can be kind of difficult to stand out through just your resume alone. A lot of times it doesn't truly showcase all of the things you know. And in a recent newsletter, I mentioned how there are other ways you can consider going about this, one of which is generating your own content or presenting it online. And you don't have to have a YouTube channel or be some social media person to do this. And what I want to do today is walk you through how you can set up step by step your own little landing page website and use some tools for free to record content even without your face on there. So that you have something that can showcase your skills more than any resume and stick out potentially amongst other people in the crowd. So the first thing we'll do is go to a site called card.co and there are other options for this, but this is a nice one that has good templates and it's free. And if we scroll down here, we can see it's just a one page site. It's really just a landing page for whatever you want. For example, a profile, something to capture emails if you had something for a business purpose, but they have really nice templates that make it easy to get started with. So let's do choose a starting point. I'm going to show you how to create something really simple here as an example. And here it gives you a bunch of really nice templates. Again, things that are built in. Some of them you see pro, so they're not free. You'll have to pay for that. And there are some limitations, but let's see here. Let's go to profile and I'm just going to pick one. We'll just do this one right here and we can either do select or we can go demo. So if you click demo, you can see exactly what it would look like. So I'm thinking for this, we put a picture here, say a little bit about what we do and then some examples of our work and different things that we would want to present to other people or prospective recruiters to give us an idea of what our skills are. So again, this is a little bit more than just a resume. This is something that you can send to somebody and you know, you'll look a little bit more professional and a little more tech savvy. So let's select this one. And again, this is going to be free to start with. So here right away, I don't have to even sign up for an account. It just lets you start building. So let's go through this. I'm going to add an image and I'll upload a screenshot of just my face. So I got one here of my self cheesing pretty hard and all uh, kind of goofy. All right, whatever, except here I am. All right, so now let's uh, add some more information. I'll, I'll put my name, I'll say Michael Kahn, and I'll just walk through again how I would do this. And you can adjust your settings. So if you go here to appearance, you can change the color, you can change the font, maybe you would change the size so it's on one uh, level here. Let's see what else. We can add some more elements here. So maybe I wanna add uh, another text or a list buttons there's all sorts of stuff and again this is all built in i'm not going to get crazy with this example but let's move this up you can drag and drop here and what you could put here would be perhaps your title or something that you're looking to do so i'm going to put data engineer and consultant and you can change the type of text so instead of main heading maybe you want subheading or something else so i'll do subheading and we can adjust the size here let's move this up and it looks like it's changing bold. So what I'll do is down here, I'll change this to heading two. This will put a heading one so that we can adjust them separately. So maybe we want our name a little bit bigger and we want this a little smaller. That way they're different. All right, so there we go. So now next, let's put a little bit about ourselves. So I'm just gonna fill in some information here. I'm not gonna get too crazy, like I said, with the formatting and everything because it's really more to just show you what you could do. And you can think for yourself where this might make sense. So I'll put in some information here. All right, moving down. Let's move to this section now. And here you can see, like I said, this template makes it easy to start. And what I'm thinking we put here are links to different videos or blogs or anything really that you have. Or maybe it's just an article. Maybe it's a download of your resume that you want to put here to highlight your skills and make yourself stand out as an engineer or whatever you're trying to build. I'll call this what I do. Add some details. Here we can go through and add a label. So that'll change what shows up here. You can change the icon and then a URL. So in that case, this is where you could send people to other specific examples and use this instead as a landing page rather than trying to force it all into one spot. It makes it cleaner and easier to work with. So let me put a few examples here. Watch me build a DBT project. Maybe I want to put a link to my YouTube channel, but you know, I would put a specific link to a, a video on DBT. Read my blog on modern data. Maybe have a link to my website. Watch me maybe deploy Airbyte. You know, maybe it's an open source deployment. I want to show you that I know how to do it. And then one more. And now that we're at this point, you might be thinking, okay, this sounds cool. It's easy because I have a YouTube channel. I create content. What about you if you don't have that or if you don't know what to do? So if you're in that position, I want to show you an option for a way to record videos that's free and you can use links and add them as links here. And that's through a tool called Loom. This is something that I use a lot. 
It's free to get started. There are limitations. I think it's only maybe a five minute video, but you can get started for free. Yeah, five minutes per video. It's going to record your screen and you can do what you want with it. And then it gives you a link. And as an example, I'm actually recording this entire video right now, this screen share through Loom. Up here, I have it on my desktop, but you could add it to your browser and it just get it going. You know, And I'll show you where this goes so that you can have a link. But what I'll do is I'll stop using Loom right now and I'm gonna go over to a different provider so you can actually see me record with Loom itself. Okay, so now I'm recording using a different software so I can show you what you could do if you wanted to use something like Loom. There's other tools to do this. This is just one that I happen to use. When you install it, you either have it on your browser as an extension or you can install it on your desktop, which is what I have. And as you can see here, it's picking up my voice here. So I'm gonna turn this off, but you could have your camera and you can determine what screen you wanna capture. Here you can see I'm recording on the other screen, but let's record this screen and I'll just start recording. Microphone is muted. Yeah, I understand that's because I'm doing it. The other tool here and it gives you a countdown and over here you can see the time. Now I had this hidden on the previous video because I didn't want this showing up and you can change that. But the whole point here is to show you, here you are, you're recording. Maybe you wanna come over to Snowflake and show, you know, here's how I write SQL. Here's an example of something that I'm doing and et cetera, et cetera. You can get as creative as you want. And then as soon as you're done and you click stop, it's going to create a video hosted for you right here. So now I can see it and it immediately has it up here. We can see what I was doing before. And the great thing here is you can either download it once it finishes processing, you can download it or you can have a link. So now I have a link. And if I open this in a new tab here, it takes you right to this page here. So with that in mind, we could go back here potentially and add this as a link here. And that's it. So now you've recorded something that you can use wherever you want. You don't have to display it publicly on something like YouTube, but you can still showcase your skills and do it for free using these tools. So now with that out of the way, let's go back to finishing up our website here and, and getting that squared away. So I'm gonna go and just copy and paste stuff in here just to get us through this. And here there's some markdown that you can use. So I added some highlights as an example. So I put just that I have certifications. Maybe that's something that's of interest to other people looking to work with me. Let's connect. Maybe I want this to be a heading one. And then down here, you can have links to various different social platforms, or maybe you have a download of your resume, all sorts of stuff right here in a nice, cool, kind of modern looking way. So I'll delete some of these. Maybe I want to put YouTube and you would add links here. So I will go through and uh, add those links. All right, so now we have a site here, you know, fairly quickly about ourselves. that's a little bit more interesting than just a resume. Of course, this isn't gonna change the world, but it's something that if you add it to your LinkedIn or you add it to your resume, you know, this is something that's gonna make you stand out a little bit more and it looks a little more interesting and you can get way deeper on your specific skills without overwhelming people. You know, you just give a couple highlighter things and send people on their way to show you what you can do and then give them a way to connect to you. All right, so with that said, let's now save and publish the site. Now, this is when you're gonna have to come up with an account. I don't think I have one, so I will create one. Now we need to have a title and this is what's gonna get showed on the browser window description. I'll just copy that in here. Now down here is where you have the option, depending if you're, if you're doing the free or the pro account. If you wanna pay for a custom domain, you can add that here and two ways to get a custom domain would be go to domains.google.com or you could go to a place like GoDaddy and just find something. You can get them for, you know, anywhere from 10, five, 10, $15 a year or less, depending on certain situations, but uh, you can get yourself a custom domain, look a little more polished, or you can just use their free domain and give it a name. So I'll call this condatasolutions.car.co. Let's see. Okay, cool. It's available and it's going to publish to their URL. And let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and publish this. The site's background hasn't been assigned an image yet. Looks like we need an image. Let's pick one that looks cool. Okay, done. Now let's just confirm that we can publish this. Now I need to verify my account looks like. And I am all set. So now the site has been published. Let me go and view it. And here it is. We've built this site. It's here. Let's see if this button works. Yes, it does. Watch me build a DBT project. It's going to take me to my YouTube channel, read my blog, and 
all this other stuff. Let's actually see if our Loom video works. So I'm going to click this. And here it takes us right to this Loom video that I recorded before. So we can see how this is all working together here. Obviously, this is a very simple example, but hopefully this has kind of got your brain spinning with some ideas of what you could do and ways to help yourself stand out using some free tools or some very inexpensive ones. So thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you at the next video.